Hi guys, it's Maritza from Title Boxing Sugar House. I'm here to give you a workout today. Um, just a couple of things. One, we all miss you here at Title, and we're glad that you're tuning in for our video workouts. And two, just make sure that you're doing everything that the CDC is recommending at this time. Um, staying home as much as possible, social distancing, leaving only for necessities, washing your hands. Um, so um, I just wanted to give you a little rundown of all the things that I'm using today, um, equipment wise. It's not very much, um, and if you don't have it, that's okay, you don't need it, it's not necessary. Um, but I am using a jump rope, some resistance bands, and then um, an app on my phone called Interval Timer. And it helps me, you know, I can set up a workout any way I want, high intensity, low intensity. This one that I'm doing today clocked in around 30 minutes or so. And then I also wanted to give you a rundown of what we're gonna do today. We'll have a warm up. It's not gonna be structured like the normal title classes. Um, it's more of a hit workout. So we'll have a warm up and then we're gonna do some footwork and then some AMRAP exercises. That means as many reps as possible within the time allotted. Um, and I'm choosing to do footwork today because usually we have a bag in front of us and we really wanna focus on punching and hitting. Without a bag, I feel like it's the ideal time to work on your footwork and make sure that you have that aspect down. That way, when you come back to us, you're gonna have so much better footwork because um, we'll be doing a little bit of shadow boxing, but not that much. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take it from there. All right, guys, first we got one minute of jump rope. Again, if you don't have a jump rope, that's all good. Just use your hands like we do in class. Here we go, one minute. All right, guys, next up we have 20 squats. Let's go. Remember to focus on your form. Hips back, knees not going past your toes, chest up, five. Now we got 10 push-ups, guys. All right, we got 20 sit-ups. Now we're gonna go into some footwork. Like I said at the beginning, I think this is the perfect time to practice footwork because we're not practicing so much on a bag. You can focus more on what your legs are doing when you're moving around your bag. Um, I know a lot of people like to stay on one side of the bag. That's where they're comfortable, that's where they feel good. It's important to be comfortable moving around your bag, using the space you have, coming at that bag from a different direction every time. So for this, I'm gonna use a resistance band. Um, I got like a five pack on Amazon for like 12 bucks and they all have different um, resistance levels. This one is one of the higher ones. So I'm gonna use that one today. We're gonna go ahead and slip this around our ankles, just a little above, and we're gonna get in our boxing stance, all right? So the first one we're doing is just a 30 second side steps. We're gonna be in our stance, step right three steps, step left three steps making sure that you're stepping with your outside foot and you're letting the other foot lead or follow. And then we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna do side steps left to right for 30 seconds, all right? So hands up in your stance, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, guys. So now we're gonna do a forward and back step, just like it sounds. We're going forward three, back three, making sure that you're not crossing over, you're letting your front foot lead and your back foot follow, and you're letting your back foot lead and your front foot follow, all right? So we're gonna do one round of this, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of shadow boxing. So we're going forward three steps with a jab cross. One, two, three, jab cross. One, two, Three. Now we're going to try doing jab cross on each step. So one, two, three, back three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome guys. I'm out of breath, but we still got one more to go. Next up, 
we have our box step. All right, so our box step is exactly like it sounds. We're gonna be moving in a square using our footwork. So we're gonna start back a little bit and we're gonna go forward first. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Three steps forward, three steps to the right, three steps back, three steps left. You made your box, you're letting your outside foot lead each time. So let's do that a few times, guys. 30 seconds total, ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, guys, we're back at starting position, okay? I wanna challenge you to do one round with a little bit of shadow boxing, all right? So, when you move forward, you're gonna throw a jab on each step. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three. That's it there. Now to go to the right, we're gonna throw a rear uppercut just at the end. So we go, one, two, three, up. Right there. And then when we go back, we're slipping to our lead side. So one, two, three, slip. All right, and then when we go back left, we're gonna throw a rear hook. So right here, one, two, three, hook. And then we're back in the beginning. So let's do a couple rounds of that. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, uppercut. Back, two, three, slip. Left, two, three, hook. All right guys, this next section is our AMRAP, as many reps as possible. So we're going to have two minutes. During those two minutes, we're gonna be switching off between 15 sumo squats and 20 high knees. And then we'll take a 30 second break. And then we have three more rounds of AMRAPs to go, all right? Two minutes, let's go. 15 sumo squats, legs out at an angle. One, two, three. And 20 high knees. AMRAP, round, not three, round two. All right, so we have 20 mountain climbers, 20 leg raises, 20 Russian twists, 10 push-ups. For the next three minutes, you're doing those back to back. So we're gonna start off with mountain climbers. So take it back down, nice push-up position, 20. Leg raise on your back. Let's go. Hand underneath your lower back. Leg raise just right here. All right, next up we got Russian twists. Let's go. Feet on the ground or in the air. 20 right there. All right, now we got 10 push ups. Guys, now you have two minutes of 10 alternating lunges and 10 hip thrusts. So our alternating lunges, doing it once each side is one. And then we have our hip thrusts. Back flat. And we are resting up 20 times. We're down to our last round of AMRAP. So we're gonna do two minutes of five burpees. I know, I hate them too. And then 10 heel taps, all right? So here goes five burpees. All right, now we got heel taps. Just right here, shoulder blades up, chin off your chest. Just like in class, one minute plank hold. So let's hit the floor for that. In three, two, one, go. Remember, nice flat back. Try and keep your head up. Shoulders in line with your elbows. Keep on breathing. Right, 
We're going to take it into a cobra stretch. Most of you know my little routine I like to do when I stretch. But first we're looking straight up. Try to maintain contact on the floor with your hips. Looking over your left shoulder. Catch your breath. Look over your right shoulder. All right, guys, push it back into a child's pose. Sit those hips back. Stretch your hands forward, chest to the ground. We got it right here. Go ahead and take your hands. Walk them over to the left side. Keep your hips back. Your chest to the ground. We got this. All right, move it over to the right side. Stretch it out. Woo, good job guys. All right, back to center. We're gonna take our hands, flip them over, hips back, chest to the ground. Stretch out your lats. All right, palms on the ground. Take it into a downward dog. Bringing heels to the ground or alternate up off the ground. Bring your hips to the sky. Bend your knees, slowly walk in, push right here. Knees still bent, grab your elbows and rotate back and forth. Keep your knees bent. Bend those knees, slowly roll it on up. Woo, arms across chest, up and down. There we go, guys. Shake it out. That's it for today. I hope you guys had a good workout. I'm going to, again, post the layout of this workout. That way you have the instructions. It's easier for you to follow. Um, make sure to tune in for all the other trainers. Everyone's going to be doing it. Um, we all want you guys to be able to stay fit during this time off. And I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I haven't worked out in a week, and that killed me. All right, guys. And so just stay safe out there. And... Make sure you're washing your hands. I gotta go wash mine. See ya.